Feel the heat? Yeah. Just over a week ago, this site was a safe haven for evacuees who fled Fort McMurray. Today, a team works feverishly to try and protect it. But for another lodge, it's already too late. Workers and guests were evacuated from the 665-room Black Sands Lodge yesterday afternoon. We've got all the safety prevention uh, that you'd need. Uh, sprinkler systems is obviously part of that. Uh, but when you get a fire of this magnitude coming through the area, there, there really is, uh, is no sprinkler uh, at all going to stop that fire. This morning, it was destroyed. Today, this crew was helping to make a fire break around Fort McMurray, but late yesterday, they too were caught up in a mass evacuation as 8,000 workers were told to leave. And the sun's down and it was pretty dark out, so, but uh, yeah, it was orange, I guess. We went up going to three different camps yesterday and they were all evacuated already. Some boarded buses and headed south, others went even further north. Today, the concern was for oil and gas facilities in the fire's path, but officials stressed they were optimistic. Oil sand sites have large fuel and vegetation breaks and are very resilient to wildfires and so they're obviously their industry uh, firefighting resources are ready. Inside the city the wildfire raging nearby wasn't the only problem. Last night there was a new fire and a separate explosion which damaged 10 homes. Officials wouldn't speculate on the cause as that's under investigation but crews are currently working to restore gas throughout the city. And when you're start turning on a switch and starting a, a, a city of 90,000 people, when, uh, you know, sometimes stuff happens. And that's why officials have been reinforcing and we are reinforcing that we're not going to have people going back until we know it's safe. And then there's this. We've driven through Fort McMurray now, and if you take a look in front of us, you can see there's very little visibility. Thick smoke has blanketed the area, air quality is poor, and hundreds of workers who were helping to restore the city have now been sent home. The restoration workers focused on the hospital in Fort McMurray had to leave yesterday. Officials say the ongoing risk from all the smoke and fire is causing them to take a second look at the reentry plans that are currently in the works.